Yo, what is good, everybody? dust 4 kicks here. Welcome back to the channel. Today, we're going to check out a pair that is probably one of the most hyped up pair of sneakers in all of history. Rest in peace, Virgil Abloh, the creative designer of these shoes. None other than the Off-White Jordan collab on the Jordan 1 High UNC. Let's go ahead and check them out. guys this pair is coming from a style named AK Kicks. Gonna go ahead and put their information right here on the screen so you can go ahead and check them out. Now as soon as you see this box most of the time you will know exactly what it is. A Jordan 1 High. Now you can see that it's cut out and knowing that a lot of people once again will know what it is. You can open the flap right here it's this clear piece you take off the lid you got the little off-white wrapping or I don't know just a little divider right there and like a clear plastic it's got the little logo and stuff right there came with a bunch of accessories each shoe came with the little made in China tags that they always do also came with the zip tie in like a red color saying off-white co Nike 2018 zip tie in quotation marks you also got the bright neon orange laces and the really nice UNC blue laces both saying shoelaces at the end in quotation marks Getting into these crazy detailed shoes. Starting off from the back, you got this nice, it's kind of like a rougher material for that UNC blue. It's kind of like the layer underneath the layer that we would normally see, or at least that's what it's supposed to look like. The deconstructed look. Same goes for this nice, it's like a light kind of grayish piece, like a faded worn out gray with the blue embroidery. You can see there's some ghost stitching right there as well. Blue leather right here, the UNC blue at least for around the Wings logo. Wings logo is in white. You can feel it slightly when you put your finger over it. It's not super, super embossed like some Jordan ones are. Once again, you can see the ghost stitching going all through here. It's just the little dots that doesn't actually have stitching in it. You got the deconstructed look right here for around the ankle collar and you can see it is unfinished like he is known to do. You can see blue down the lace guard and around the toe box. Same goes for the swoosh that is not completely on. You can see it's barely hanging on there. It's like hanging on by the orange stitching right here and then the little orange piece wrapped around right there just to kind of give it that concept look like an unfinished, uncompleted, deconstructed look. Side panels, you got that nice white rip stick, rip stop, whatever material like he's known to do, like he did on his off white fives. You got a little foam right here. Same for the deconstructed white piece right there. For the midsole, you can see it is a kind of off-white color, no pun intended, with air right there in quotation marks, which he was known to do, and that's in black. Outsole, you got the UNC blue colorway with the Nike hit right there on the center of it. Toe box, you got that white ripstick, ripstop, whatever material. White laces, white nylon tongue, deconstructed, you can see the foam right there. You got the little blue stitching or embroidery right there. You can see the tongue tag is on the side over here in white with Nike swoosh and air and orange. You can see there's a little bit of orange under this tongue tag as well. Coming out of the inside of the shoe, you can see the sock liner is kind of ripped out, deconstructed, and it's in that UNC blue. You can see the insole is white and says Nike air and swoosh right there in black. Back side of the shoe, you can see that deconstructed look that I showed you a little bit earlier over the ankle collar. You can see blue leather here. You can see the white heel tab right here. And you can see there's the blue embroidery that goes over it and then plenty of ghost stitching all over. Then it goes back to that heel piece I told you was kind of like the layer underneath this one. Again, in that UNC blue. Medial side, you got the blue right here around the ankle as well as the lace guard and around the toe box. Side panel's white. You can see it has that off-white branding right there with the blue embroidery going over it and the ghost stitching going through it. Now, just like the Off-White Jordan 1 High Chicago's that I reviewed not too long ago, these definitely grew on me. Sadly, it had to happen when Virgil already passed, but after having the Chicago's in hand and now these in hand, it's just one of those things that you see in person and you're like, damn, these are actually really, really sick. All the cool details that they put into it, the swoosh that's basically falling off, the air in quotations, which was Virgil's kind of, you know, that was like his thing. 
just so much. The deconstructed everything, tongue, the top, just so many little details going into one shoe. The font on the inside, medial side of the shoe. It's just a really cool shoe and I'm glad to add this one to my Chicago's. Maybe I'll have to cop the white pair. We'll see. What do you guys think? Let me know down below. Out of all the three colorways for the Off-White Jordan 1s, which one is your favorite? UNC, Chicago's, or what are the other ones? Just the white ones. Just like always, I really appreciate you guys coming over to the channel and hanging out for a bit. Till next time, I'm Dusty for Kicks. Peace.